Hi, I'm Helen, creator of AZ Devices. I'd like to introduce the AZ Random Steps and Shapes LFO with MIDI Trigger, which is, like most of my work, inspired by Graham Wakefield and Gregory Taylor, whose book is linked in the description below. Well, who needs another LFO? I am really into weird modulation shapes, and I find it useful to have two LFOs that are linked to the same beat or pulse and share the same algorithm, so they produce similar but different shapes. So here we have two LFO shapes. Now the second one doesn't go twice as fast, but it is interpolated twice as fast, which makes it slightly different, but it's always linked to the pulse of the first. Now you can get some very odd shapes. Toggling the symmetry can uh, off and on can get you some very strange shapes, especially if you put the skew and the shape into play. As you see here, let's ramp up the rate so you can see this a little bit stranger. And then I go from here to here. Randomize also brings in some play. Now you see we have the two modes here, the beat mode and the frequency mode. You can also toggle between the two, which will make some immediate changes, which is really nice if you want to go from slow to fast. Now, the specialty of this is that it also produces MIDI triggers. So let's ramp up the speed. These are some very odd shapes, but bear with me for a while. Now, it's important to note that these MIDI triggers are created by the actual shapes of the curves. They don't always land on the beat, but they will stay regular if your random dial is dialed down to zero. If you enable sync, the MIDI triggers will start and stop with the playback, although the LFO won't be effect affected. Let's make these different. Now this MIDI note which is triggered is MIDI note 60, which is middle C. I'll set it out going to my wavetable. So MIDI note 60 is being transposed randomly and sent through a microtoner set to my favorite scale, parch 43 and into the wavetable. And here's what it sounds like. It's a bit odd, but that's the way I like it. And you see the different shapes are linked, but modulating differently. The wave position, the space, and the decay. So that's one example here. And you can also send this to an external hardware. So let's hear what this sounds like. We've got the MIDI being sent out to the Moog. You can hear, see the MIDI lighting up when the MIDI is triggered and how it changes the filter Let's make it a little faster. Add some stranger shapes. Now with the Mother 32, you might run into trouble um, having the sequencer starting automatically when you start and stop the playback of Ableton. But there's a link in the description below that can help you solve that problem. So there's lots more that you can do with this idea. For example, try sending some of these MIDI triggers out to a drum rack. But for now, just take this idea, run with it, and have fun.